we heard a very positive message from President Al Jerba, who made a very strong statement of commitment to the unity of Syria, to democracy, and to plurality. He condemned extremism, and he rejected terrorism. No, he did not raise that with members of the Security Council, though he did refer to the fact that there were some countries who were continuing to uh, arm the regime. You know, uh, he has said, in, in really without any conditions, he has said, we want to go to Geneva to, uh, to Geneva II. He simply said, I think, he stated the obvious. He said, in Geneva I, uh, it's, uh, you know, suppose we're supposed to have a transition government with full executive powers. He simply said, full executive powers means, of course, the control of security, the army, and the police. As how can you imagine a real transition government in the middle of a civil war, you know, without the control of the army and, and, and the security? Uh, it's very clear, all the executive powers, and uh, it means what it means. He, very state, he, he clearly recognized that there were radical groups now in, in Syria uh, and, uh, and on both sides. He simply said that these groups are foreigners, uh, they are contrary to, to the Syrian uh, way of thinking, uh, way of living. And uh, he, he emphasized also that it's important to say that you have Al-Qaeda on one side, but the other side, you have also the, the Iranian Pasdaran, you have also the Hezbollah. So there are a lot of, 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 of radical groups. We are expecting Certainly, th this meeting was not about any kind of... Uh, official recognition of uh, the national coalition, and uh, there was uh, a very clear understanding to that effect among members of the Security Council. I think that still there are sort of good chances for the Geneva to, to be convened, because the alternative would be uh, so horrifying. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely better to keep trying. Thank you.